The final episode of this series focuses on getting data into Blade templates. As a Laravel developer, you're probably already familiar with many of these concepts. If you need a refresher or introduction, I would suggest checking some of the many Laravel lessons found online. Also, my front end is using the Tailwind framework for CSS. These layout designs can improve, but the concepts are the same. For displaying content, we're going to look at rendering blocks. We touched on using presenters in the back end, and I'd like to use them for the front end as well. Finally, I'm going to modularize my layout and use some components. To provide a way of looking at our contributors, we need a controller, some routes, and some views. As I did with the projects before, I'm going to set up a method in my repository to get all contributors and sort by name. In my controller, I set up a reference to that repository and then instantiate that reference. Then, an index method for a list on a page and a show method to focus on a single contributor. I'm taking advantage of the repository's built-in for slug helper. Each method returns the appropriate view blade template. Establish the routes to the methods inside our controller. I've already coded the index blade, and here we see a for each loop, accessing the contributor's slug, image with a crop variant, and name. If we take a look at the page, everyone is listed as expected. Remember how we created a presenter to show an array of skill tags as a string for our admin? We can reuse that for the front end with a small change. I'll put it into the blade template, present tags as string. In the contributor model, connect our front end presenter to the contributor presenter. Reload our index list of contributors, and we now see the individual skill sets displaying with each person. I guess Lulu knows Unix. The show blade template for contributor looks pretty familiar at this point. We have a name, an image with an avatar crop variant, and a helper called render blocks that renders our blocks using the different block templates we configured in episode three. Let's look at the page and check the responsive elements to ensure Tailwind is changing the CSS based on breakpoints. What would be nice next to the image is maybe some information about skills and possibly credits on past projects. I'm gonna handle this by using components. I set up a credit component and I pass along the data contained in contributor. In that component, I call on our old presenter friend, tags as string, and place it into a tiny blade template. When we reload the page, we now see a skills label and a comma separated list. Let's tackle the project page and how we show the credits. I know I'm managing this content with a presenter, so I'll start by establishing a front end reference to a project presenter class. I'll make that class and extend our main presenter. I'm going to call our method credits formatted. Create a credit list array to hold all of our formatted credits, loop through each credit, create a links list array to hold all of our formatted names and links to contributor, loop through each contributor and make a helpful link around their name to their respective page. I check for contributor amounts that number more than one and set a plural variable to s. I then implode the links list to a link string. Each person is separated by a comma. And as a personal reference, I do a preg replace on the very last comma in the string. Instead of having the list display as Fred, comma, Kate, comma, Cindy, I alter the string so it'll be Fred, comma, Kate, and Cindy. Next, I add this data to an array with a role title of the credit. I include a formatted string of people as the contributors list. Lastly, return the array of credits. On the project show blade template, we add a for each loop for our array of credits formatted. On 
our contributor presenter, we formatted an array of credits into a string. I think it would be cool to create an array of projects the person did and the role they had when doing the work. I create a method called projects formatted and establish an array that holds these credits, loop through each credit and format a link with the credit title, the project slug, and the project title. What we're doing is very similar to what we did before with projects listing contributors. Now it's contributors listing projects. On the contributor credit component, we loop through our presenter, projects formatted, and render our formatted link. Reload the page, and we see the projects Coffee Benjamin worked on and what her role was. Clicking on a project brings me to the project page, and I now see the credits of the people that worked on this project and what their respective roles were. Clicking on a member brings me to their page. We now have a content loop that allows us to explore seamlessly. Visiting Twill's recently updated documentation, you can learn more about some of the topics I touched on by scrolling through the topic index on the left side of the page. Twill is open source and respects the members of the community that contribute to its growth. I'd like to hear your questions and hopefully try and answer them with more of these video tutorials. A great resource is the Twill community found on Spectrum Chat. I encourage you to join. The URL is in the show notes below. As always, thank you for watching.